Hi there, Simon from Manchester Wine School here. Wine, it confuses you, doesn't it? Um, not, not sure what you've been doing on your lockdown day today. Um, one member of the family has been making um, some rather nice uh, chocolate chip cookies, so I might be having one of those later on. I've had one already, and they're, they're the size of a, I was going to say the size of a small cow pat, but that's not very nice. Uh, they certainly taste nicer than a small cow pat, not that my experience of tasting cow pats is extensive. Uh, my experience of tasting wine is quite extensive, but it still confuses me. What have I got here? Uh, I've got a half bottle of Domaine Seguin, uh, Puy Fumé, um, and um, half, it's 2016. Uh, and I, I opened it and I thought, oh, it's, um, I've missed it. It's, it's just on, on its way out because it, it had this almost like um, slightly too developed honeyed edge. But... Um, I left some in the glass and I left some in the glass and it seemed to get fresher and more pungent with time. Um, and it's, it, it's been open two hours now and it's, it's the freshest it's been. Uh, it's not been in a fridge or anything, so it's not getting freshness from there. It's just been sitting there and um, each time I come back to it, it's sort of going, come on, come on, come and get me. Uh, so I'm going to come and get it. And it's got all the pungency I want. Yes, there is a little bit of... Um, uh, slightly waxy, waxy, honeyed development, but there's still this fresh pungency of the fruit. And I keep using that word pungent. Uh, almost a little bit of black currant leaf in there with the more conventional, slightly grassy. Um, it's not one of those sort of asparagus fruit bombs or anything like that. It is more on the tense, herby, uh, rich but sleek style. And um, I'm really enjoying it. We had some salmon for tea and I had a little sip there and that's when I noticed it first getting a little bit uh, richer and uh, uh, richer but finer. Sounds weird, but uh, it's pretty tasty. Um, and yeah, with this herbiness and there is certainly there, I mean, I, people throw the mineral word around, but there is something there that definitely feels like it's been, it's been not processed. It feels like it's been authentically made in a, 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 a nice clean winery, but from fruit that has had a, a good life before it met its end in the crusher. So I'm going to enjoy what's left in the, in the glass. And um, I've only got, this is the only half bottle I had left. Uh, so uh, if you've got any half bottles, probably drink them up. Uh, but I imagine if you've got any full bottles of this, that's probably still a year or two still uh, ahead of it. So uh, enjoy. <laughs> See you soon.